You answer your phone? I didn't recognise your number. Ah, oh, well, I am only your daughter, so... I'm sorry. It, it, uh, you look beautiful. Still not blind, then. <laughs> I'm so proud. But can we save all the tears and stuff for the church? We are supposed to be there ten minutes ago. We just have to wait for Brenda. Who's Brenda? My wife. What happened to Viv? Oh, she died in a fire. You kept that quiet. I thought Jamie would have told you. When do I speak to Jamie? Look, if you don't want to bother, just say so. No, of course I want to. All right, come on, we need to leave now. Here. Bob? Who's your friend? Tell Brenda I'm really sorry. No! Oh, Gemma Atkinson, who plays Emma Dills, Carly joins me. They're all going to get the wrong idea, aren't they? Yes. Oh, yes. No. She's horrible. She is horrible, can She's I say? She's so horrible to Is it him. quite good to play somebody horrible, though? It is, you know, because all the other parts I've played have been really nice, sweet mm. girls, so... But I'm, I'm paying him back for neglecting me, you know, that's what it is. It's... Exactly. He not has not been the, the most attentive of fathers. No. I know he has many children. Yes. But he has not been exactly good. But what an entrance in your wedding dress. Yes. <laughs> yeah, it's like Rachel on Friends. I know, yeah. it's true. Yeah. It is, yeah. it is. Yeah. It is. Definitely. Now, the only thing about Emmerdale, and that was probably shot, what, January time? Maybe. Yes. Freezing. Freezing cold. Freezing, in Freezing. that dress. Yeah, it was horrendous. You must have been absolutely frozen to the yeah. bone. I had my boots on and my leggings and jogging <laughs> bottoms underneath it, all glamorous. Gosh, and how's it been joining the, joining the gang at Emmerdale? It's been really, really good. When I, when I got the part, everyone said to me, you've struck gold with Tony being your dad because he's amazing. And literally within an hour, I felt so comfortable. The cast, the crew, everyone, you know, the canteen staff, everyone's so lovely. No, they are. Um, big, family. Like big family. Big family, yeah. We just said yeah. the same. It's yeah. it yeah. just like one big family. And I know people say that and they don't mean it sometimes, but it's very it's true yeah. in the case of Emmerdale. It really is. But didn't you say that at some point, in fact, about 10 years ago, that you would love to be in Emmerdale? Yes. It was always something you wanted yeah. to do. And they said, where do you see yourself? And I've, I've always loved Emmerdale. I don't know if it's been with being up north and being outdoorsy and the farm, mm -hmm. but the, the same person who interviewed me, he read the quote out to me like two weeks ago. And I said I'd like to be in Emmerdale, so I've put it out there and it came and back it round. Came back. Isn't that strange? Yeah. It really yeah. is. It's, it's great. So I guess the first time we really would be aware of you was, was Hollyoaks, wasn't yes. it? That was that yeah. was the that was the big deal. Um, and then Casualty, of, mm -hmm. of course. Yeah. And you were, as you say, you were actually quite a nice girl then. Yes. <laughs> in yeah. that, it was nice in them both. Yeah. Um, when I read the scripts for for Emmerdale, it's it's like, gosh, I mean, Carly, the character, she says and does things that you wouldn't dream of. Really? Um, Is she that one that says things that you kind of secretly in your head? Secretly hate, wish you could say, or but you could have never the guts because to say, yeah, you, you would never do that. Yeah, she's brilliant. So I think she's very complex. I don't think the audience will like her at first. Right. Um, but then it, it kind of comes round. It's the fact she's very bitter and very angry, and all the men in her life have left her, and mum's moved to Australia. So she's she kind of had to be on her own, really. So mm. she's quite a hard. Exterior. Right. Um, but yeah, she will have a, a few scenes with Bob where, you know, it's kind of, you realise she's doing it out of anger um. and um, not just for the sake of it. No, because I think that's quite good. I mean, you know, make a big impression. Yes. Come on. And then, as, as is in the way of, of, of soaps and is the way of drama, we will find out more about her. Yes, there's and a backstory to her. Because yeah. nobody's ever all bad. No, no, all there's good. always reasons, isn't there? Yeah, it, and, and so. I think that's what's so interesting when you find out. Yeah. more about a character and find out what yeah. makes them tick and all of that. And that must be really good for you, because that's the joy of working in a soap. You get to know... We find out so much more about, yes, about someone. Yes, definitely. And it's, it's great, obviously, with, with doing films, you read your script from start to end. Sure. And it's, you know, the plots reveal in your character. With a soap, every episode, it's still ongoing. So with every new block of eps, you know, there's just more things that, being the new character, you find out about yourself and you have scenes with this character and you link with this character. So, you know, the writers and producers, they've really got it nailed, of, you know, with all the crossovers yeah. of characters and, and, and backstories. So it's, it's really interesting. The Bad Penny, who just won't go away after a 21-year break, Jenny Bradley has made a return to Weatherfield. Jenny! It's you. Who are you expecting?